Hey, welcome guys. You know guys, uh, of course there's a couple of issues here we're going to talk about, as you can see on the screen. This re-denomination thing. But guys, yeah, so we're going to get into this uh, re-denomination thing. So first of all, before I start with anything, I think the first thing I should do for you guys is to actually, you know, throw the um, definition of the redomination itself. But before I do that, let me play the video of the bank governor so you guys will understand and then we'll take it from there so we can break down what redomination means, basically, okay? So I'm going to show, um, you know, uh, basically this is just a brief definition of itself. Redomination is the process of changing the face value of banknotes or coins in circulation. It may be done because inflation has made the currency unit so small that only large denominations of the currency are in circulation. You know, so um, uh, uh, come on in, guys. We're coming in. We're coming in. Uh, like I said, I'm going to put this video of the bank governor because I want you guys to hear it from the uh, horse's mouth, basically, and then we'll take it from there. Welcome, Lydia. Welcome, everybody. Welcome, Abdul. Um, you know, welcome, everybody. Welcome, welcome. All right. And. And um, uh, then uh, let, uh, let me let me let me share this video. I think I have enough folks now to get started um, to listen to this bank governor, basically uh, telling us about the redenomination. Basically, what they do, they get for change the. I will read all of these details so you guys will understand exactly what the strategy is behind uh, the redenomination of the uh, Leon's currency. As you guys have seen already on the screen, it tells you a little bit more about what is actually happening. But let me play the video of the bank governor, guys. So check this out and listen to the bank governor itself from the Aussie's mouth, and then I'll take the conversation from there. Would they keep the design of the old? There will be a new Leon for two Leons, which will be 2,000 now. Then we'll get a five Leon note when at 5,000. We will get a 10 Leon note when at 10,000. And we will get a 20 Leon note where it will be 20,000. For make people, they're not confused. Would they keep the design? of the old notes and the new notes the same. So if you see that green new note, you go know say this is not the 10 new Leon's note, which is equivalent to 10,000 Leon's. Whose value this gets what on the economy? Mean? One, it will reduce the transaction cost where households and business people, they go through for care money go. It will reduce the risk. You go in a bank now, many people they tell, we say, then go in a bank, then they're afraid for let them come out with all that money, then they follow them. So that will reduce uh, the risk of those things happening. But more importantly, it, it, it will provide a psychological boost. That's what has happened when countries then don't uh, redenominate. It provides a psychological boost to the people of the country saying, we economy the better, and therefore they will work hard to make it happen. And if all of those things happen, then the gains that we have made so far will continue. As I said, we will begin. One of the first things we have been wanting to do as government, not for redenominating. We have not been for able to do them in a time when there was rampant inflation, when they may, we've been getting fiscal indiscipline, government, they just spend money. I had to put all of those things in check before I believe that the time is right. And the hoarding of Leon also created an incentive because it became unsustainable. And the charter plane for bring money spent a lot of money as a kind of loss. We cannot con Guys, I want you to listen to these key points where, you know, uh, the, the bank governor is making. You know, we, we, we are spending money to print money and uh, but by the time the money comes into the country, it disappears. I want you guys to pay attention to that. I want you guys to listen attentively. Listen to that, okay? Listen to that. Continue this. So now I make with the get new leons, you wait and go keep the old leon, you go face and count. So, Bank Governor, now we look at the dollar rate as it is. Hundred dollar now almost one million eighty thousand leons now the market. This plus other inflation issues. Who's role this new money go play the the number of zeros where you get on the money, we economists we just call a numeraire. Now just you know, you can reduce the number of zeros or you can add the number of zeros. What thing they determine the value of a currency is the productivity of the people of that country. Now, where we do redenomination, what thing don't happen in other countries is that where you redenominate, people, the psychological feel say their money get value. And therefore, they are going to behave. I want you guys to pay attention to that. Psychological. So really, this has no relevance. It has no importance, but psychological. I want you guys to pay attention to these keywords, right? It says it's a psychological effect. It has no really no relevant, but I'm going to tell you why they do what they're doing. 
I'm going to break it down to you guys, but listen to the interview. In a way, where the currency go, uh, appreciate initially. But if you not keep sound economic policies, if you not keep the productivity of the country up, you go back to Usa Yubin. I believe say, this is not the right time for Leo do this because mining is coming up. There is quite a bit of investment in agriculture going on and all of that stuff. We go reduce our demand for foreign currency for uh, bring in rice and other things. And uh, so this is not the right time. When salon people will see this new money come to the market? When we ready? How soon will go ready? The law say we forgive the country at least 90 days notice. When we ready, we go announce say, the money go come on this day. But you not get a specific day as it is. It not, it not make sense for that, I tell you now. What are the processes then that we want to do on now for change this money? We don't make the order for let them print them and print the coins. How soon will we see the currencies? You want to ask the same question in many ways. I am not going to tell you that. It not make sense for that, I tell you. When we ready and we want to inform the public, we go say on day so so and so, we they begin the conversion. But for now, it not wise. Just as it not been wise for that, I even talk about this until you are ready. Beautiful. All right, that's not the bank governor. Okay, so uh, guys, as, as you've heard, that is the bank governor, right? One thing I like about this bank governor is so, you know, is so real. To be honest with you, I mean, I'm going to be honest. He's so real because he's putting out these things out there for you and I, you know, to be able to come out and, you know, uh, thoroughly evaluate these, uh, you know, actions of these particular people. Guys, this is what I want, I want you guys to see. Of course, this is the uh, press release from the bank. With basically, the redenomination, redenomination, Again, redenomination. What is going to happen is, it's just it's a psychological effect. That's all it has on anything that is going on. But why is the SLPP doing this now? Is the fundamental question, and that is the 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 the, 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 the that is the point of my argument to you guys today because I want to present these facts so you guys can see. Guys, if we go back, let's take it from like December, right? When we uh, saw from the African Express, when this president and his wife, I can share this with you guys on the screen so you guys can see what I'm talking about. When the first, the first lady and the president, by themselves, just by themselves, right? In December, in the month of December alone, this was the amount of money that they spent. 5.2 billion. This was the time where the bank governor tell me for point blank, it said money not in the country. That is what is happening. And that is why we are having this situation that we are having today. Where then, guys, they are, again, it's a psychological effect. That's all it has. Like I said, I'm going to bring in cash box at some point or two. we get a chance for do this, you know, in detail to the point and break it down for when I foresee the economic implications on the lives of the people of that country, right? But let me show you guys exactly what it is. This, all of this stems from this particular aspect. Money dollar, the bank, money dollar, and the bank governor don't tell when I say, point blank, this was just a matter of, let it be say, they create a psychological effect. So that is why I'm going to show you guys what is the true meaning of redenomination. So let's 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 read this together. Redenomination is the process of changing the face value of banknotes or coins in circulation. So basically, they only just to change the value. And I will show you the breakdown, of course, from where you know within the bank governor himself tell we, so you guys would see. It may be done because inflation has made the currency units so small that only large denominations of the currency are in circulation, and that is a fact, right? We know so we get a very high rate of inflation. And again, what is the definition of inflation? So when you, you look at uh, the way the economists then define inflation, I want you guys to see all of this stuff, right? The action or inflation, something or the condition of being inflated. But in economical terms, a general increase in prices and fall in the purchasing value of money. So when you look at the price of rice, for example, the bag of rice is about 400,000 leons, you know? But then, uh, you know, uh, uh, the, the, the purchasing value of the money itself you know, um, of course, it's it, it, so that is what the inflation is all about. That is what it is. Say, what's not the purchasing power of the basic, the average Sierra Union? We know say prices then increase, but then you look at the 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 the, the actual wage gap. You know, um, the, the 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 minimum wage that the country. This is what the conversations we have, right? The average people will still get five hundred, six hundred thousand leons. So by the time months you pay somebody five hundred thousand leons, what's in the happy? You go buy uh, one bag rest, the money don't know. How do they get for survive? That is why the economy is based on people just, you know, constantly, you know, feeding off of each other. They say, so I take out, I need to eat. No, so that is the mentality of the country. So let me show now again. Uh, let me go back to the definition of what redenomination basically is without me intervening and interrupting anymore. It may be done because inflation has made the currency unit so small that only large denominations of the currency are in circulation. In such cases, the name of the currency may change 
or the original name may be used with a temporary qualifier such as new. Redenomination may be done for other reasons such as changing over to a new currency such as you know euro or, or you know during decimalization. Redenomination itself is considered symbolic as it as it does not have any impact on the country's exchange rate in relation to other currencies. It may however I want you guys to pay attention to this is the keyword right here. Let me show you guys that. It may however have a psychological impact on the population. This is the point I want you guys to see. The reduction in the number of zeros only improves the image of the country abroad. That is very important to the SLPP government. Nothing else is important to the SLPP government as this. And that is why you see when you take the chief minister, these guys spent millions Again, let me put this on the screen for you guys to see where we're going. You know, because we have to let these guys understand that we see through them and we know exactly what their strategies are. So Sierra Leone Chief's Minister office spent over 34 billion on media consultancies and travel per diem in less than three countries. This, what does this tell you guys? It tells you that these guys don't really care about the people. They don't care about the ramifications of what they do locally. What they care about is what I was reflecting internationally in the eyes of the international community. That is what you have in this country, in this SLPP folks. And this is why I want you guys to see this. These guys spent $34 billion, over $3 million on media consultancies across the globe. So when you read this article, you see right here, this is what it tells you. That they are only doing this because the reduction in the number also improves the image of the country abroad that is all that matters to these guys guys why am i doing this you see guys like i always tell you guys it has been there's been a vacuum there's been a vacuum of you know information in sierra leone and that is why that vacuum is what we're going to feel that void is what we're going to feel because in as much as we might not know the intentions of the SLPP as far as re-denomination, why they're doing this, but I can tell you that based on everything, we're looking at what their actions have been in the past. I can tell you that just looking at what happened from the days of the December month, where there was no money in the country, at this particular point in time, these guys know we are getting into an inflationary period where price then get for hike. When I see that petrol price, I know go up so. Let me show you guys what I'm talking about. Why we do what I do. This is why it's important for Shona this. When I look at this, Petrol price don't go up. And these are the things where they bother these guys. They no say, again, for reach a point just now, the inflation, the amount of, you know, uh, the, the prices of goods that the country, again, for rise so high and again, for affect the value of the currency. And they don't want for it to reflect that way internationally. Not that they care. Because if they care, this government will subsidize. And I'm going to talk about the subsidization of these basic commodities that it, for the country, for the people in that country, right? But look at the prices of uh, fear. This is all inflation. So the strategy of the bank governor, guys, I, you know, I might not be, I might be a wizard, I might be a witch or a sorcerer, whatever it is. But the strategy of this bank governor, at this particular point, and the SLPP government, and unfortunately, the bank governor knows how to play these things, and he come out and he's so honest and can't tell me the truth no more. Hey, listen, this is just can't forget the psychological impact at the international community, not to anything. You don't get no actual impact. They don't say, you know, uh, reduce the price of the money. And I will show you guys a picture of that. But what they are doing, guys, and I want you guys to pay attention to this space. That is exactly what it is. Because, again, if you guys listen to Cashbox, if you don't predict this thing over two years, where they tell salon people and say, that country is here for Tranga, Pasai Tranga, so. And we are getting there, guys. That is the point where we're getting. And these guys know they've seen it. It's coming. All that they contribute for cause this hyperinflation away that we country. It is the same as LPP. Because these guys are stealing all the money. They don't change all the money into foreign exchange. And that is why they 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 they, they, don't, they don't ruin the economy completely. They have no other fix, but what they think about is oh, and these are narcissists. These are people where it's all, all about themselves. When you deal with somebody, people are where all they think about is themselves. That is what you have in society. And now they think and say, oh man, how we image go look at like the international community. That is why they do what they do. So 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 what is he saying? Yes, hey, listen, guys, I'm not saying this is a terrible thing, right? Because we all looking forward to a society in Sierra Leone where we would, you know, have lower currencies for transact business. And not only that, some of us are thinking, you know, about when is that time going to come where we would even stop, you know, carrying cash around? When, when is that time going to come when we're going to, you know, have plastics? 
you know, we have uh, cards, you know, uh, instead of moving around with money and all that stuff, where we will not have this trouble. We're going to get there eventually, but we know it's not with this SLPP government, right? And this is the things we're talking about. But however, these guys, because of their bad fiscal policies, because of their terrible economic policies, because of the corruption, and the governor talk up, he says, as he prints more money, it will take, it will disappear. Who they disappear? These guys, they don't keep money in the country. They don't bank with the banks in Sierra Leone anymore. So what happens is they go into the banks, withdraw these funds, take all the money, exchange it into Forex, Euro and pounds and dollars, ship and come overseas. That is why we have the situation that we have. And Sierra Leone, that's why I want to point these things out to you. That's why I want you guys to see this. Because, you know, if these guys only care about the people of Sierra Leone, if they care about our country, about the image, you know, when you talk about money, first of all, there are certain, you know, the functions and characteristics of money, right? You talk about medium of exchange. You talk about measurement of value. You talk about the, the standard of deferred payment. You talk about the store of value. If only these guys, let me share this with you guys on the screen for all of you guys, uh, you know, out there so you guys can see what I'm, I'm, I'm actually. Uh... Because, guys, you know, we try to put this stuff together for you guys. So, you know, we'll all be on the same page, guys. You know, Sierra Leone, one country will get, bruh. And we already allow people in for just destroy that country for we. So what am I talking about here, guys? And this is an article by Amanda Lim, uh, you know, uh, Sue, an economic article that she wrote, right? So uh, let me share this with you. And we're talking about, you know, the functions of money, right? Uh, one, you're talking about, you know, uh, a medium of exchange, a uh, 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 value, you know, a standard of default payment, you know, store, store. Uh, lastly, a store of value. So when you look at all of this, we are hoping that. If, if anything, any monetary policies that this guy was, would put into play would, you know, uh, reflect these functions of money. But really, it's not going to improve anything else because everything stays the same. Prices of commodities are going to stay the same. The bank over around we say nothing is going to change. So it's not going to affect, uh, you know, as a medium of exchange. It's not going to affect anything as a, but the, the, the measurement of value. You know, these are all the things we look at. When you talk about the standard of default payments, that is, these are the functions of money in a society, right? I don't want to go deep into this, but you talk about the characteristics of money. It's not going to change any of that, 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 that stuff. You talk about, you know, uh, portability, right? First, to serve as an effective medium of exchange and store of value, money must be durable. You know, durability, all that stuff. It's not going to change anything, right? It's not going to change the portability of money. It's not going to change the divisibility of money. It's not going to change the uniformity. You know, which means that all types of the same denomination of money must consist of purchasing power. It's not going to change all of that. Limited supply, ac acceptability. It is not going to change none of that stuff. The only reason why these guys are actually doing this, and again, let me put this uh, image there so you guys would see what I'm talking about. The only reason why they're doing it is because, again, it's for them to reflect positively on them as the SLPP government. And this is why we have the problems that we have again today, because these guys have run down the economy and they've gotten to the point now they have to devalue just so the money not look like the way it looked 10,000. So now they pull the two, the three zeros, it left 10, but the value still remain the same. Guys, Sierra Leone should be thinking about importation. Barry, that's a very powerful point. La put up now, yeah. Barry in comments, guys, I want you guys to see my brother, Cherry Barry. He said, Bank Governor, be they read directly from Wikipedia. That is exactly the fact. But um, again, I, I want to bring uh, Ibrahim. Uh, let me let me put Ibrahim Kale's comment also on the screen here. Um, the intent behind the devaluation of the currency is for the citizenry to think the bank government and the SRPP government are busy working, but they failed to tell the people is their net worth remains the same, their debt still stays the same, and the crown is all the government debt remains the same. Thank you, uh, uh, Ibrahim Kale. Basically, that's that's all that is happening right here. And but again, like I said, the bank governor already made it very clear that this is just a psychological effect. It has no meaningful effect on the lives of the people. Nothing is going to change. It is the same thing. But just because it's going to look positively in the eyes of the international community. Guys, I'm not making this up. That's why I'm giving you these uh, uh, facts as it is. When you look at the definition, uh, the reduction, what's the, 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 the effect that it, uh, it actually has? Look at it right here, guys. This is all the effect. This is what matters to the SLPP government. The reduction in the number of zeros also improves the image of the country abroad. That is why the SLPP have done this. Because again, when you look at these guys, all the bad, bad, terrible policies, them, is why we are where we are today. Guys, I want to share something with you guys. You know, because the reason is, and this has to do with the subsidization of uh, these basic commodities. When you look at the prices of, um, you know, fuel, you know, petrol, all that stuff, waiting to happen at the country. And um, 
I want you guys to see why you know um, uh, uh, subsidies are very important in a government. This government is a reckless. And they, this is the government that really does not even care about the people. So that would be the last thing on their mind. So when we talk about the subsidization, you know, I want you guys to see, you know, um, uh, um, there's this uh, uh, article that I'm going to share with you guys from a president, Alice by Koroma, what they basically did to subsidize like the education. Now you have this Lincoln Queen uh, University situation where thousand kids are, 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 are out of school today. You know, that there are dropouts today. Some of the beginning don't begin go back to prostitution, right? Some of these uh, boys don't go back in the broke stone. So when you look at all of that stuff, this is why we have the situation where we get, because this government, they don't care about the people. Nothing that bothers the people is their, their, their concern. All, everything is about themselves and how they look at the international community. But talking about subsidization, I really want to share this with you guys. So you guys can see, you know, this particular article. I'm going to share with, with you guys so you guys can see this on the screen. And I want you guys to take note because... This again goes to the point that we're saying, just because these guys don't want to subsidize, you know, the, the, the increase of, you know, prices, you know, the rice, uh, you know, prices of basic food commodity. Sierra Leone does not import. Sierra Leone does not export anything. We are import dependent to speak, to, 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 to speak with the import arm. And until Sierra Leone gets to that point where we are able to produce our own goods and export and sell, that is the only time we can be able to communicate and maybe even have a table at the international level to improve the value of our currency. It is only when you export, you trade at the international level, the value of your currency can improve. Why is America or the dollar and the pounds, you know, a very heavy currency? Because you can use these. These guys produce and they use it to sell across the globe. And, and, and that is why they have value. So the reason why Sierra Leone's currency does not have any value is because we do, we do not produce anything. Since this government came to power, they told, they told us about, um, you know, rice, you know, factory, the Toma Bomb rice factory. They told us about all of these beautiful, you know, um, uh, Tapalapa Bakery, all of these beautiful promises that they made, right? But nothing came to fruition. Nothing came to pass. And that is why it is a problem. So when we talk about subsidization, this was the reason why the IMF took funding from the APC. But let me show you guys exactly the article that I'm talking about right here. I got, guys, I want you guys to see this, you know. And this is about the subsidy. And the SLPP, the reason why they've, they've gone to this extreme, one, guys, pay attention. It's about the, 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 um, they, 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 they don't want to subsidize anything. They've destroyed the economy of the country. The money, the, 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 the currency of Sierra Leone does not have any value at this particular point in time. So for them to, to curb the appeal to the international community, that is why they want to re-denominate the currencies. So it looks smaller in the face, but the values still remain the same. But the international community knows these things, and you guys, we all know these things, and that is why the Canada can explain it here to an all on see. But look at subsidization. This was why the IMF, you know, fall apart with the APC government of former President Koroma. Look at this right here. Let me read this article for you guys. Two issues are on the table to float the price of fuel and impose the levy on rice. By the time of the second review, those decisions should be taken, Kagbo said. This is Kagbo, who was um, uh, uh, um, uh, the minister under uh, former President Kroma. Um, Any reforms that spike the cost of fuel or rice, a basic staple in Sierra Leone, would not be popular with the poor ahead of the election to replace Kroma, who cannot run again, but is backing his former foreign minister, Samura Kamara, as a successor. So Sierra Leone depends on exports of diamonds and, and iron ore for revenue after recovering from civil war ending in 2002 it is it saw explosive growth early in this decade but its economy was then battered by the ebola epidemic and falling commodity prices of course guys we know that the slpp have no excuse when it comes to the corona these guys received so much funding and corona has not really affected us as you know they made it seem like it affected us the only the only reason why this government is creeping behind coronavirus at this particular point is to make money out of it right but the money does not even reflect the people we saw these guys they say no no don't the auditor general please don't audit uh, you know the funds from the uh, Evo uh, coronavirus don't, don't audit us but this was the same government we pressed the they ask former president Kuruma for let the audit the uh, Ebola virus. But guys, this was why the IMF, which I just showed us, so, was the reason why the IMF be pulled funding, uh, threatening for pull funding at the time, you know, during the elections, because the government of President Kuruma said, no, I'm not going to increase the prices of fuel and the prices of the basic staple food in the country just because on a one -on This is going to have a, a, an impact on the people of that country, and we're not going to let it happen. But no, the SLPP, when you look at Francis Benkaifala, Renaissance man, when this guy comes out here and tells us that 
oh, you know, uh, 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 we, 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 the, the people of Sierra Leone have to stand up for themselves and do better. And these guys had no clue of what they were talking about. Governments have passed. People have moved on. We are still struggling with the basic commodities. That is Francis Ben Kaifala, right? But these are the guys that are in power now. They have the opportunity to help the people of Sierra Leone. But look at what they've done. They've destroyed the economy of that country. Sierra Leone is struggling. The people are suffering. And guys, that was what I wanted to talk to you about. So you guys understand the reason behind why the SLPP is re-denominating the currency in Sierra Leone. It is not for any reason, but for this one reason right here. It is because it makes them look good in the eyes of the international community. This is it. This is the only reason the reduction in the number of zeros also improves the image of the country abroad. And that is what the bank governor said. This is why SLPP does this. Why are they doing it? Because they've destroyed the economy of that country. Again, the bank governor made it very clear. He said they go in the print money, but it's already money can the country. The money done done. Who are they take the money? SLPP. Guys, and you go back to the African Express. You look the president and his wife in December alone. In December alone, look at that. President and First Lady spent over 5.2 billion on December travel and holidays. This is the way, even Omole done. Omole be done in the country. People ready for see rum for Bayam. Because they're going to take all the rum from Brewery. They kind of go to Kerema and Kailaun. That was when you guys saw the chief minister dancing, David Francis. That was when you guys saw David Francis dancing. Where the dance that Munku Munku dance. But let me guys, let me show you guys that video that I'm talking about. David Francis dancing. This was in December because if you don't take all the money from the banks, they took all the money away from the banks, and they were going to go enjoy at Kenema, Kaila, and all these places. This was the same time when the bank governor come out. I wish I had that audio, but I will find out again later at some point when he told us clearly there's no money in the country. He told us. He said there's no money. You guys remember that? But let me play. The video of the chief minister dancing at that particular time when these guys kept all the money to themselves, money not in it. People they want for go pay people them. People want for give gift us uh, Christmas gift. People want for pay their staff them. Money not in a bank. That is all of this. This all emanates from that. And now they're doing this for improve the image of the international community. Guys, if you guys follow me, watch what they do, not what they say. And that is why I've gotten the SLPP right where I want them. But let me play this video of you, of, for, for you guys so you guys can see what I'm talking about. The chief minister dancing at the time. Now watch this. <laughs> So guys, I just wanted I just wanted you to see that. But this was the time when they got done the money in the bank. You know what I mean? This was the time they finished the money in the banks. And that is where the problem started. They don't thief all the money, then are their host. So even when the bank governor is saying they go bring all the money here. But let's read this article in December alone. 5.2 billion between the president and the let's read this article together. By the African Express. Official correspondences and bank statements on travel expenditures from the office of the President of Sierra Leone, uncovered by Africa Express, reveals shocking details on how the country's president, Julius Madabio and his wife, Fatima Bio, spent more than 5.2 billion yuns, over $520,000. Of course, we're not saying it's that small money compared to the 3 million or 5 million, you know, the Lebanon trip, all of that on travel costs and per diems for the month of December 2020 alone. The highest travel expenditure incurred in a single month by any sitting president of Sierra Leone since independence in 1961. Documentary evidence, including bank withdrawal notes and financial statements examined by the African Express, show expenses for presidential trips to Gabon, Ivory Coast, and Guinea in early, of, you know, early to mid-December 2020. 
and his visits to Bonth in southern Sierra Leone for the Christmas holidays. These statements show total cost of five billion two hundred and seventeen million five hundred and thirty-eight Leon six hundred and ninety-five hundred and thirty-eight thousand six hundred and ninety-two uh, Leon's eighty-six cents charged directly from the country's consolidated revenue fund. As a low-income country, Sierra Leone's annual budgetary estimate for fiscal year 2020, approved by the country's parliament in 20 uh, in December 2019, stood at around 8.6 trillion, which is 8.4 billion dollars, and funded mostly by external credits and grants from international financial institutions and multilateral agencies like the International Monetary Fund, World Bank, and African Development Bank. Among the president's uh, listed expenses were a cash withdrawal on December 4th. 2020 of 550 million leons 550 million leons which is the equivalent of $53,000 from the local and overseas travel account held at the Bank of Sierra Leone to be used as per diem by the president for a 3-day working visit to Gabon 3-day $50,000 this amount did not include flights and sea coaches, you know, sea coach tickets, which amounted to $245 million, another $24,000, also withdrawn by Mohamed Bayo on the president's behalf. We examined the statements of accounting activities, especially with withdrawals from the local and overseas travel accounts, and discovered details showing that both the president and his wife and close official aides make daily cash withdrawals from the Bank of Sierra Leone typically foreign currency as impressed and per diems for international trips in the first 10 days of december 2020 alone total cash withdrawals by the president from the local overseas travel account amounted to 830 million which is eighty three thousand dollars this includes smaller amounts ranging from 10 million to 39 million guys you know guys this is a travesty man it's a travesty you know, and, and 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 let me let me let me show you guys this. Let me let me do this. This was, uh, of course, when you know the press secretary saying uh, President Julius Marabio, uh, President Marabio departs for the Gabonese Republic. His Excellency President Julius Marabio has departed Sierra Leone today, Monday, seventh December, twenty twenty, for the three day official visit to Gabonese Republic. But guys, let me not spend much time on this, right? I just wanted to point out the facts. Like I said. Maybe myself and Cashbox will come live one of these days and we'll talk more about, you know, what it means to re-denominate. But I just want to show you guys the implications, why these guys are doing what they're doing. Guys, like I say again to everybody, you know, watch what they do. One of these days, maybe I might print a t-shirt, you know, uh, uh, saying, you know, watch what they do, not what they say. Because, you know, we, I, 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 and then you guys, I would, you guys would, would, would buy it and then that can sponsor some of the projects that we work on. But that is why I do what I do. We have to show these guys that we know exactly what they're doing. We can see through them. We're 10 times, 100 times smarter than them. You know, I, I remember coming across that we messaged this morning and make a point where he says, some of them guys, he's never going to go to the Rumba. When they go to the, the, you know, the pubs, they sit there after they've had a couple of, you know, a couple of beers. That's when they come up with these policies and hum, boom, they go. And th that's what we see right here. You know, uh, because again, you know, if otherwise, the only reason why SLPP is doing this is because this reflects, you know, um, it will look very good, uh, you know, at the international level community, you know, the international community, you know, guys, I'm not making this up. No, this is not my words. These are not my words. Look at it right here. The reduction in the number of zeros also improves the image of the country abroad. <laughs> Caught in the crossfire.